Welcome back YouTube, uh, EDC Pride Group, and um, jewelry today, quick unboxing and showcase uh, a couple new designs and everything from a wholesale manufacturing company that I've been working with a um, little over three years now. Uh, great, great uh, turnaround time uh, from design to finished product. Um, I can send them a CAD drawing and they can um, map everything out. Uh, I can even send them the materials. They can actually do it, uh, everything in-house, which is really nice. Um, I've been really happy with them. A lot of the stuff's up on my website, and custom design work and um, wholesale from them, um, stuff like that. I'm not sure if this is, I, I want to say this is probably not my newest design stuff, but we'll go from there. Um, uh, I think this is uh, wholesale from another jewelry designer. Um, that they work with and then they, they can actually sell their products and everything. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, today for the unboxing knife is a Kubi Anteater. I've been really happy with this. I actually redid my um, drywall in my um, bathroom and I used this as a uh, scoring tool to go across uh, the drywall uh, to cut out for my um, uh, medicine cabinet so um, it was really nice for the fine work I did did get into a um, little bit too deep and I did uh, bend that tip a little bit but I think I can uh, sharpen that right out and, and get that tip to come back in um, it is S35VN uh, Blurple uh, what they call is like a blue and purple um, titanium fade on that with a bead and that's a Kubi Anteater S35VN blade steel uh, integral uh, titanium but yeah that's going to be our unboxing knife today um, matching lanyard beads and everything um, let's go ahead and we'll just cut into this right here want to cut too too deep just catch a piece of that jewelry or anything so we'll go ahead and do that so all right so this is some rose gold stuff I do believe uh, rose gold um, London blue topaz and diamond hoops focus on it I'll put a picture in the view of them I'll set them up and I'll actually do a nice picture of them but yeah that's your rose gold and diamonds hoops a little bit closer here maybe it'll pick it up So you have those. Jewelry is not going to pick up very good. I got to do stills and, and put it in my light box and, and get things going um, that way. So I'll add that in the, the description and uh, put that in the video. That one is in there snug. This one is a necklace. Why is that in there so snug? Okay. And they're not going to go back in the packages. Okay. This one is a diamond and rose gold um, diamond and um, amethyst. All 
my pieces are all solid. I don't like to do any plated and unless it's uh, um, Italian um, sterling silver plated gold um, known as vermilion. So I try I try not to do anything plated. Let's see if we can get a better picture of those. Yeah, those are gonna be hard to pick up. Those are the diamond and rose gold hoop earrings. But I'll take some stills and I'll add it to the thing. Uh, again, thank you very much for subscribing uh, and um, comment and like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.